today we are back with another tutorial. Today I am doing a little bit more of a toned down look from the last few. Uh, the last look that we did, and I think the one before that, included things being glued upon my face. And I figured, uh, like, why not bring it back to something a little bit more basic and do something semi day to day wearable today. Today's look is something that I wanted to do because I saw an article that said blush and burgundy are the trendy colors for spring for this year. And now if you know me, normally I could give a shit what the trends are for spring. I'll just wear it whatever I want all the time and I don't care what season it is. I'm just, I'm just don't, don't give me a rule because I'm not going to follow it. However, Burgundy is my favorite color in the entire world. Literally, I only have like four colors in my closet, maybe five, but most of them are neutral, and then there's burgundy. So I feel like it's like it was calling to me. It said, oh, Nicole, do a spring look based on blush and burgundy together. And then, ironically, it's snowing outside, so Mother Nature can like suck a fat one today. However, we're rolling on and we're doing a spring tutorial anyway because this is this is New England and this is just going to happen until like May. For the look today, we are going to be using the Modern Renaissance palette because there ain't no burgundy palette better than the Modern Renaissance palette, except maybe for the Tardis Pro palette. Actually, yeah, I don't know. They're both really good. You could actually also use the Tardis Pro palette to pull off this look if you'd like to. I'm also going to be dipping back into the No Cool No <laughs> I'm also going to be dipping back into the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit for the highlight and for the inner corner and all that shit today because I like it and I just paid a lot of money for it so I'm going to use it. I've definitely done like a blown out smoky burgundy eye before on this channel but it was a lot more intense. I think I used a liquid lipstick as a base. Like it was like intense. Like this is a little bit lighter. Something you could throw together pretty simply and pretty easily if you're looking to like have a look but you don't want to spend a ton of time because it is on the fast side. It's not a ton of eyeshadows or anything and it's not very intricate. So good on that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to shut up and stop blabbing around. And then we're going to do the makeup. Let's do the makeup. Okay, let's do the makeup. For the transition shade today, I am going to choose something that is pretty orange toned. I'm going to go with burnt orange on my Sigma E40 tapered blending brush. lid is going to be burgundy so I am going to just jump right into doing that and then eventually get back to the crease and add more orangeness kind of an ingredient outward like so um, so for the red color I'm going to use Venetian red and I'm going to pack that on with a real technique shading brush down over the lid I'm going to start to blend a little bit more of that orange tone that I'm looking for into the crease. I'm going to use the color Railgar on a Morphe M433 brush. For the waterline and for the tight line I'm going to go with a burgundy tone for those as well. I'll be using the only burgundy pencil that I have for the eyes. This is Plumeria from Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to run that through my whole rim and look real creepy while I do it. Because I know you guys love watching me go move around. Now that that's on, I'm going to conceal underneath my eyes and then we can work on the little lash line. Okay, I put my concealer on, and because we had so much fallout on the top, I'm not playing any games. I got the powder barrier here. We will sweep it away later. I'm not playing no games. I'm not getting no burgundy cheeks. I'm going to take some more of the color Burnt Orange on a clean Real Techniques shading brush, and I am going to run that under the lower lash line and connect that into the top where we smoked it out a little bit. Now 
Now I am going to press a little bit of that color Venetian Red along the lower lash line, starting out wider on the outer corner and then tapering it as I get toward the inside of the eye. That kind of helps give you that whoosh shape whoosh whoosh, instead of the look at my sad eyes. It kind of lifts it up a little bit without having to add a wing. And to do that, I'm going to use a Sigma E85 angle brush. For the inner corner highlight, I want to bring in a rose gold tone. So I'm going to mix a little bit of Kitty Cat and Forever Young from the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. I'm going to pick those colors up on a Real Techniques detailer brush and then I'm going to spray them with a little bit of setting spray before I put them on. That's pretty much it for the eyes. I am just going to pop on some mascara and some lashes. I am going to use the House of Lashes Boudoir Light Lash because I can't stop wearing those. Literally, I've worn this pair like eight times already. Uh, and as usual, Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. Boom. Pop them on there. While I was waiting for the lash glue to dry, I added that same mixture of highlight to my cheeks and a little bit of blush. The blush I used, the blush I used was the Tarte Cosmetics little birthday one that you get as a VIB gift from Sephora. It's called Party with like 18 A's. Um, and I quite like it. It's like a little bit pinker than exposed, but in the same kind of a vein. I don't know if they're gonna make this like a blush that you can buy, but I quite like it, so I hope they do. Before we completely move on and do the lips, um, I just feel like I'm not completely satisfied with the way that my false lashes are blending in with my shadow. I'm a little bit a little, a little, a little bit specific about how I like that to look. So what I'm going to do is just grab a little bit of liquid liner. I'm going to use a NYX Epic Ink Liner and I'm just going to run that from the end of the lashes into the corner of my eye to kind of make it a continuous line rather than have it be like a little stop and then hammer time. Okay, that's better. For the lips, I am going to layer two blush tones together. The first one is an old favorite. This is Dusty Rose from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then I am going to highlight the higher points of the lips with the Jouer Metallic Lip Cream in the color Praline. And this is the finished look. That's all for today's tutorial. Thank you guys as always for watching this video. You guys know, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you goes without saying, but I thank you again. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. It helps me out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see all the videos coming down the pipeline. Follow me on social media. I'm at Miss Quinn Face on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I will list those all on the screen. I'll also list them in the description below. Come find me. I'm easy to find. My name's the same everywhere. And that's all, and we're done. Dramatic exit. That's all for today, and I'll see you in the next one.